What's new and what's missing in MIUI 12.5.5 Enhanced Edition running on the Xiaomi Mi 11X? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in MIUI 12.5.5 Enhanced Edition running on the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Now here it is, we do have the build running on our device and this here is the change log and they do mention something like new fingerprint options in the lock screen section. Me personally, I could not find any of those. If you do find it, do let me know via comments below now do note this is the third enhanced edition build from xiaomi for the mi 11x within a month and they still haven't changed the security patch so the security patch is still from august 2021 and hopefully this time around the reboot issues have been fixed but i think they were fixed for most of you in 12.5.4 and but 12.5.5 they seem to have removed all the reboot issues finally Next up, the feature of memory extension, something which gives you additional RAM for small applications is still there. So you have to go into settings, additional settings, memory extension. Once you enable this toggle, you are going to get 2 GB of memory extension or extended RAM for those of you who have a device with 6 GB of RAM. Those of you who have devices with 8 GB of RAM are going to get 3 GB of extended RAM. And once you enable the toggle, you can also go into your storage settings and therein you will notice that it is using a part of your physical storage and what is my opinion on extended RAM well I do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video but to be very short and very precise it is a feature just for a marketing gimmick next up they have finally added a quick setting tile for Dolby so if you try to edit your quick setting tiles you will notice you have a new toggle available for Dolby Atmos and all you need to do is tap on the plus button and it should be in your quick setting tiles here it is you can now enable and disable Dolby Atmos from your quick setting tiles and no you still do not get your data usage in the quick setting tile next new feature you will find is something called smoother transitions so if you go into settings display brightness level bam here it is smooth in transitions make the transitions smoother when you adjust brightness manually and some people have reported that once they enable this feature they are getting enhanced screen tint issues so if you are getting enhanced screen tint issues with this latest enhanced build then make sure you disable this option of smoother transitions now me personally I did not notice any change when I am changing the brightness manually so let us enable this feature and we can turn off automatic brightness and let us try to change the brightness so there it is you can see I do not see any change we can now go back into the settings option go back into display brightness level let us now disable this and then we can try to change the automatic brightness and again I personally do not see any smoother or unsmoother enhanced transitions with the option turned on or off. So those were all the new features which you might find in this build of 12.5.5. Moving over to what is missing. Do you get the new power menu? No, you do not get the new power menu. Do you get the new gallery application with memories and other stuff on top? No, you do not get that either. Do you get MIUI's implementation of focus mode and digital well-being? Nope, so you do not get that either. You have to do with Google's implementation of digital well-being. Then if you go into your battery option, do you get your battery information? No, you do not get that feature either next up if you go into privacy protection do you get the feature wherein if something is accessing your camera or microphone you get a notification on top nope you do not have that feature either in this build next up can you uninstall applications because as per their miui 12.5 presentation you should be able to uninstall the file manager application nope you cannot do that so the feature of uninstalling system apps has not been implemented yet however if you go into apps uninstall system apps the menu is there but the feature is yet to be implemented do you get 90 fps pubg hell no you do not get that either 
Moving over to the benchmark scores. So how I run my benchmark scores is I first of all run Geekbench followed by four back to back and two two. Then I run a CPU throttle test. All of this is being done at 120 FPS and at an ambient temperature of 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. So Geekbench scores same as the other enhanced editions and less than the MIUI 12 and 12.5 non-enhanced build with respect to your and to to score we did hit we did hit a 690 in this case but it was the second attempt and that was like super surprising it seemed like the device was thinking like hey i'm running and to to let me go ahead and floor the gas pedal with respect to cpu throttle test the numbers were almost the same as the previous enhanced edition builds and in my humble opinion the 12.5.2 run one which is your non-enhanced build gave us the best scores and the best performance with respect to cpu throttle test with respect to and to two again i think 12.5.2 gave us consistent good results and when it comes to your enhanced edition whatever change log they write is absolute bs as all of us already know by now it is just another way of selling you stuff and wanting you to buy something which is enhanced which is clearly not the case as is visible by the geek bench scores because 12.5.2 again had the best geek bench scores so far so all in all another normal me ui build which might give you enhanced me ui bugs and there it is peeps that was our what is new what is missing in me ui 12.5.5 enhanced edition running on the xiaomi mi 11x and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you